Why am I here? Western Diamondback Rattlesnake and a small rat coming in for him. We'll see if he's hungry today. It is a kind of cooler winter day, so he may not be interested, but judging by the speed of those tongue flicks, ooh, and now that head motion, it looks like he is hungry today. Let's see if he goes for it. Nice. And it's completely normal for them to let go. That's something that rattlesnakes will often do because they're venomous. They're not like Cleo, the boa constrictor who's waiting on her meal down there. They've got venom to do the job of finishing off their prey for them. So they much rather bite, inject their prey with venom, then let it run away and go looking for it once the venom has done the hard work. Then after a few minutes of smelling around, Spot finally felt comfortable enough to start on this meal, but I didn't have time to include it in this short, so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of how Spot ate this rat. Hey Cleo, I know you like checking in on Spot, your friend the rattlesnake, but today is actually feeding day, and I've got a nice juicy rat defrosted for you right over here. Oh man, I had it dry too and I just dropped it back in the water. All right, you can catch up with Spot a little bit more. It's gonna take just another minute to dry off your rat. You also want to check in on Captain Hook, our scorpion friend. That's pretty chill. I don't want her to fall or to tease L now that it looks like she is waking up too. And just bring Cleo back down gently. had to leave her food for her and she wasn't interested in taking it from the tongs but as I've been going through the room feeding everybody else it looks like she has started in on her own meal. A few days ago I posted a video of Spot the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake striking this meal and I explained that it's common for rattlesnakes to strike their prey and venomate it and then let the prey run away and return to it later. Well now it is that later and Spot has returned to start his meal and you can see he started head first. That is typically how snakes will try to eat their meals. They tend to go down a little bit easier that way, but that's not how all snakes choose to do it. But whether they eat their prey head first or tail first, eating is a vulnerable time for snakes since the one thing they have to defend themselves has a rat stuffed in it. And because of that, Spot here dragged his meal away from the scary camera to finish his meal in peace. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe for daily reptiles. You send me real, I send you real. Do you know what that means? That means we are in a relationship. All right, feeding my most vicious of snakes last. Lucy the Honduran milk snake. No, she's, woo, not the most intimidating. I've got a rattlesnake right above her, Bojangles. But she is probably the snake with the fiercest or most fearsome feeding reaction of all of my other snakes. My boa constrictor still hasn't started her meal. My rattlesnakes take their sweet time. But Lucy is always going crazy for food. Oh, oh, she got it. She got it. Let's see what she does with it now. Sometimes she will drag it right back into her house. And that is the last we see of it. You see she's rattling her tail around. She thinks she's one of the rattlesnakes. All right, She does have a leaf in her mouth, though. And I don't want her to accidentally eat the plants. So I'm going to. See if I can. Do you guys see that? She is. She's got to let go, right? Her teeth are like little pins, and so they're sank into that leaf. And I don't know if I can pull it. Push the mouse towards her and pull the plant away from her. All right, so I have closed the door, and I'm trying to just give her a moment to be convinced she strangled the mouse. Don't tell her it was frozen. I don't want to ruin the excitement for her. But once she's convinced she has it, she should loosen up a little bit. She might even decide to circle it and readjust her grip. And I'm hoping that will be my chance to get the plant out of her mouth. She is turning around, and I think she might have. All right, crisis averted. Looks like she was able to get the leaf out of her mouth on her own. I'm not exactly sure how because I never saw her release the mouse. My wife saw a neighbor post about this night snake in need of help, so we're going to try to get him unstuck from this sticker. I've helped plenty of snakes get unstuck from glue boards, but helping one so tiny that it got stuck to a sticker is a first for me. But luckily, we were able to free him. And if you want to check it out, you can see the whole video on my channel now. Thanks for watching. What? 
Check it out, guys. Elle decided to wake up and come out of her burrow today. And I made her a little breakfast to see if she is hungry and wants to eat while she's awake today. You see she's flicking her tongue out, which means she is smelling it. That's a good sign that hopefully she's going to come on down and grab some of this. I bet you she goes for a blackberry first. Elle loves her sweets. Yep, what did I tell you? Right for the blackberry. Going for another blackberry? Let's get some protein in you. How about some egg? Or uh, another blackberry? That works too. I don't have blackberry there. So I knew my hand was safe. She is not interested in eating egg. And she's definitely not interested in my fingers. She knows what she wants. And it is those blackberries. I'm going to move her over there because I see she dropped one right here. Well, don't take the whole plate with you. Good. Now she's going for some protein. All right. Well, I guess see you next week. Sleep tight. Here's what I look like when I was a little pup, when I was a little pup. Hey! Just a little pup. If you think my pet Tegu L looks cute during her bath, wait until you see how sleepy she gets after her bath. She's doing the arch in her back like a cat thing. You're not gonna tail whip me, are you? Don't be grouchy. She has been hibernating the last few months, but today she felt like coming out of her enclosure and she was a little on the stinky side, so I figured I would give her a bath to clean her off and to make sure that she is staying hydrated through brumation. All right, let's get you out of there and dry you off now. And as promised, here is the sleepy post bath lizard. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed this reptile video and subscribe if you want daily reptile shorts in your feed. So today's rattlesnake habitat cleaning went a little differently than normal. You can see Spot the Western Diamondback is sat right up here by the front of his enclosure, but he pooped all the way in the back of his enclosure. And the problem with that is I can't use my tongs to reach all the way to the back with him sitting right there without getting in his strike range. So I'm gonna try to pull him out of the habitat and put him in that orange bucket so I can safely clean his habitat while he's contained. All right, and I've got him by the tail, but I don't like how far back I have him. So I reached a little further up, but then Spot came back out from around the gold pan, forcing me to release his tail. All right, plan B. If he doesn't want to come out, since he's back in that corner now, now I do have enough space to use my tongs to just go ahead and scoop the poop out of the back. Trying to get under the whole thing though, so it doesn't break into a bunch of pieces. And then while I'm in the enclosure, and now that I've got the poop out of the way, I'll just put a few of his decorations back into place. Got the poop out, put the skull back in place, and spot is hanging out back there. And you know some days when the rattlesnake doesn't want to come out, you let the rattlesnake stay put. Thanks for watching. Follow the daily reptile videos. Oh, hey, Cleo. <coughs> Cleo, where did... Where did this water come from? Oh, I see. Back in December, my patrons chose for the video topic to be how I made these DIY rocks for my reptiles, or rather how to make DIY rocks in general. And so I'm going to be showing how I do a little bit of maintenance on these rocks that I made probably around eight or nine years ago. You can kind of see how they hold up over time, as well as taking you through the entire process of making one of these rocks from start to finish. So you can see how to make these DIY rocks for yourself because it really is easy along with seeing what type of maintenance you might have to do down the road if you take this route for making your reptiles enclosure. Hey. All right, well, I guess I'm done dusting that off in there. Well, he already notices what I took. He's like, hey, that was my favorite hide. Don't worry, Bojangles, I'll have it back to you in no time. Does that sound all right to you? I see. I'll take that as a yes. I was not born to be in this kind of weather. 
I, I'm, I'm scared of stepping out and, and dying immediately, instantly. I was inside a wash, but I see something else. Do you see her? I'll give a little tap with my the back of my snake hook here and you should see it move. So that was the butt of a tarantula, and when you tap outside of their burrow like this, they're either going to hide deeper or come scurrying out to attack whatever's tapping because they think it's food. That looks like some very fresh coyote poop, so it must be around here somewhere. I see things. Looks like a lizard in the bush. Holy cow, are you at a spider web or are you just trying to catch a breeze? Guys, tell me I'm not crazy. That is a little lizard. I, I swear I just was walking along. I didn't put him there. Are you? He's alive. He's not like that other crusty, crusty lizard I found earlier. I wonder if he, oh, there he goes. I wonder if he was trying to eat bugs up in the bush. That was too cute. That's how you communicate, isn't it? By, by citing example, by metaphor. See if Bojangles is hungry today. We've got some nice fast tongue flicks, which is always a good sign. We'll bring the food in here. If you don't want to see a snake eat a frozen thawed mouse, this is the time to look away. Go ahead and kind of make him work for it. I'll bring it in on the other side here. See, he is flicking his tongue out. For anyone who doesn't know, that is how snakes smell. They can actually pick up scent molecules on either the left or right side of their tongue, and then they use the Jacobson's organ in the roof of their mouth to tell them which side of their tongue picked up that smell more strongly, almost like a little scent radar built into rattlesnakes. Here we go, we're gonna get the strike, maybe. It's like he's second guessing it. It is a cold day, so, ooh down fast but it's not stopping him now there we go i've got the release now i'll give him some privacy to finish this mouse in peace i got called pretty today <laughs> well the exact words were you're pretty annoying but i like to focus on the positives in my last video, you saw me very carefully get Bojangles, my albino rattlesnake, out of his enclosure, and now that means it's time for me to clean his habitat. So that is rattlesnake poop and what it looks like. There is one more piece under there. Get that out too. But otherwise, not much mess from Bojangles. So after I get this bowl cleaned out, he will be able to head back home. Got Bojangles his fresh water. Lastly, I'll just moisten things down a bit. And that should be good to go. Now let's just see how Bojangles behaves for me heading back into his enclosure. All in all, he was pretty well behaved today. I mean, he is a rattlesnake, so you can't ask for much. All right, there you go. But I made a pretty big mistake that I will be showing in tomorrow's short, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Stop scrolling. If I was abandoned at your front door, would you keep me? Today's daily affirmation isn't even an affirmation. I'm just telling you to be a menace today. Just be a problem. Go absolutely feral. Be the weirdest, scariest, most beautiful thing anybody's ever seen today. Let go. Eat. You want a piece? Or no? Yeah, go. All right, and that was the last short I had for today's reptile shorts compilation. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to leave a like and comment down below what your favorite short was. That way I know to make more shorts like that going forward for next month. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for everybody who made it all the way to the end. Thank you to everybody who liked and commented. And as always, thank you to all of my patrons who help support this channel and help me keep these videos coming as frequently as I do. Your support really helps and means the world to me. So starting with my head herpers, thank you, Allie Ward, Amanda Lynn, Deborah Torgerson, Jane Cabin Girl, JCH, Lindsay Justice, Loki and Thor, Sierra Sicard, Tiffany H, and a returning head herper, Wyatt Gilbert. It's great to have you back. Thank you so much for the support. And thank you to all the other names you see scrolling up your screen now. These are the patrons at the other tier levels. And if you would like to join them and get your name in the end credits of all my full videos, you can do so for as little as $3. It will also get you exclusive patron voting rights for voting on one video topic per month and my undying gratitude.
So thank you again to all of my patrons. Thank you to everybody who watched this video and tunes in for all my videos. It really means a lot to me. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week. I hope all your snakes are eating for you. But most of all, I hope that you just keep herping. <laughs>